Have you ever listened to a song and sang it over and over again, only to then go online, check the lyrics, and then you realize you're singing the song wrong the whole time? Well, that's what it was like for me when I first discovered what a real relationship with God was. See, for so long, I thought it was about religion. I thought it was about rules and regulations, when actually it's all about experiencing real love. That there's not this distant, angry figure in the sky, but actually there's this good God, this loving God, who so desperately wants you to draw closer to him. Maybe you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, if there is a God and he is good, then why is there so much bad? Well, see, it starts at the beginning, when humanity made a decision to turn their back on God. And in that moment of selfishness, sin entered the world. Now, sin isn't just bad actions, but actually it's a state of being in separation from God. And so seeing as it's not just bad actions, it meant that something far greater than good actions would have to happen in order for us to be set free and saved from our sins. And that's where Jesus came in. See, Jesus came to bridge the gap, to bridge the separation between humanity and God. John 3.16 says that, For God so loved the world, he gave his only Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And the next verse goes on to say that Jesus didn't come to condemn the world, but rather to save the world. See, Jesus lived a life of perfection. And then when he died on the cross, he died as our sin, so that in that moment a beautiful exchange would take place, whereby he'd become our sin so that we could become his perfection, he'd become our guilt and shame so that we could become his freedom. You see, maybe you'll watch this video and you know that you're not living in relationship with God right now. Well, it would be my greatest honour and privilege to lead you in a prayer to do just that. Romans 10.9 says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. And so this prayer is simply putting that into words. So let's pray. Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross so that I could be set free. Today I've decided to make you my Lord. Today I've decided to give you my heart. Amen. And if you just made that decision, can I personally congratulate you? I believe that is the best decision that you could ever make. And we would love to hear from you. So you can do so here.